Good morning, Miss Bowers. It's a beautiful Friday. Still got a long time to go before we're back, so we're gonna sort of start the pottery project today. Of course, we're gonna look for materials. So let's start that. Oh, I think we're gonna look in the basement first because I have these fellows, and my dad likes to go all out when decking out their cage. Like, there's a ton of more of this wood material and all like little bird toys and a bunch of stuff down in the basement that there's like a rotation that he does to keep the birds interested. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff. So we're gonna start there. So right as I enter my basement, I turn to my left. I already see a bunch of stuff I can use. All this driftwood here is gonna would be perfect for a sculpture. So we're gonna collect some of that. So you've got a fish tank full of this stuff. I oh, my grandfather the same way. Just collected a bunch of driftwood and it's awesome. So let's just start. We gotta start. Let's look for some more. Even as I head towards the workshop, I've got tons of scrap wood here. There's a bin full of stuff I can search through, more scrap wood. So it could be interesting to combine like clean cut pieces of wood and uh, driftwood to like make like a, it'd be different, but combine the two to make a thing, to make like one big uh, sculpture. The two could blend well with each other. I just want to find an accent piece, something I can center the piece on. Also, my dad was an art school major. He went to high, he went to college for art. I don't exactly know the parameters, but he's like an amazing artist. Like this is stuff he did in high school, all this stuff. Yeah, just a fun, interesting fact. We were also very into uh, bird carvings. Like him, him and my grandfather. My late grandfather, they were they uh, were very into bird carvings. So my grandfather did for like twenty years after retirement. You know, I got, I did one with him before you went, and it was awesome. We had a lot of art in my family. My aunt's just amazing at art too. But yeah, I also have some finished wood pieces. I got some of this. I might cut up a little bit of it just to you know make it interesting, just smaller. And then get some finished wood pieces. So, you know, combine the rough sanded wood with the finished wood and the um, driftwood. I'm gonna make something. I just want to waste. I need a centerpiece, you know. Garage. And I see these tools. And I see this hammer. And I think, what if I put a tool for woodworking in the middle of my wood piece? And obviously, this hammer, I don't, it's a little bit too heavy for it to be able to support it for balance. But I think we can find something. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, let's see. It's sharp. So. Perfect. It's got wood on it too, and it can be the centerpiece. Along with the color, it'll be an accent. Perfect. All right. Let me put these materials together. All right. We got the collection here. We're going to challenge myself. We got a lot of piece, a lot of difficult, different pieces, but they got the wood theme, and we're gonna, I'm gonna challenge myself, see how it goes, go with the flow, man. All right, we're also gonna add uh, one of, one of these guys, one of these birds, one of my uh, grandfather's unfinished pieces, unfortunately, but uh, it's really got the aesthetic and it's cute. It's un, it's unpainted. Usually they were fully painted. This one, this guy never got painted. It actually helps because he's gonna help with the wood aesthetic. He's gonna be the, he's gonna be another centerpiece, I think. This is perfect. Okay, we are ready to begin. We have all of our materials. We have our surface. We have our we're doing it in the room of inspiration. I've also decided against the saw due to the uh, risk. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're ready to go. Let's get on this.
actually really, really proud of this. This came together like really well, <laughs> better than I expected. Um, just the wood. I like the dark accent on the top and the wood. Just the balance of this driftwood here. I'm really proud of. I'm really happy how this turned out. Um, yeah. The bird is perfect. I'm glad I grabbed that. It's a perfect piece. Um, just on all sides. Just the balance. I like how it combined like two, two kind of center balancing pieces. I've got like this structure here, and then this structure made out of driftwood. It's like the finished structure and the um, driftwood structure kind of combined together to create one piece. And I really like how I did that. And yeah, I'm really proud of this. And I put it in a spot where it would stay up, so my family. And it's got a, it's got good balance. It's not shaky. The only thing that might be at risk is this little piece, but I think it's okay. So it can stay up for a little while. I put it in a spot where it would stay. You can't move it, obviously, but yeah, I'm really proud of this. This is a perfect thing to do on a Friday. Um, and so yeah, that's my that's my project. I'm I'm glad you gave this to me because this was actually this turned out a lot more better than I thought it would. And this would be a lot more fun project than I actually thought it would. And, like, I'm really, really proud of this. And so, yeah. Thank you, Ms. Bowers. This gave me... This entertained me. And I'm glad that it did. This was, like, a full project. I'm going to edit this video together. Make a little video log, vlog. Just to put it together. Something fun. And, uh... Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Bowers.